The PERT program at WWRC is an effective school-to-work program supported by the Virginia Department of Education. The PERT program assists students in their transition from high school to post-secondary options by helping them answer these questions. What's out there for me? What are my talents? What are my interests? What type of jobs might I enjoy doing? What skills do I need to become employed? And what do I need to learn to live on my own? Currently, PERT is open to accepting candidates from all public high schools in Virginia, and there are PERT staff available to help you in every part of the state. The approximate value of the program is $3,000. Students arrive on campus for a 10-day program. Most PERT students reside in Switzer Hall during the program, but there are also residential options for students who require supported living assistance. The first room you enter is Switzer Lounge. PERT counselors greet you and check you in. You then get your keys from PERT residential staff and head to your room. After a few minutes to get settled, you return to the day room and meet with the PERT staff who will be your guide for the next part of the process. Students get their ID and admissions. The purpose of the ID is to show you belong on campus and allow you to access meals and equipment. After you get your ID, many students need to stop by Student Health. There, a nurse checks your prescription medication and makes sure you have enough for the entire program. Now it's time to say goodbye to Mom and Dad. Your program has truly begun. Students wait in the career lab for their counselor. The career lab is like a homeroom. There, counselors interview each individual student and collaborate with the student to set up a plan of job exploration that fits their vocational goals. The PERT counselor is a resource for the student for academics, typical job skill sets, and common aptitudes for each job. The students have a final say in what areas they attempt. Intake day continues with other orientations to get you comfortable with PERT, with the Wilson Workforce and Rehabilitation Center, and with the rules. Students begin the second part of their day with dinner in the cafeteria. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner are paid for by the program. Snack machines, snack bar food, food ordered from nearby restaurants will all be paid for by you. PERT residential staff take you on a tour to make sure you can recognize the recreation hall, training building, and medical building. The day ends with students being able to choose from several recreational options like playing video games, bowling, or swimming. Tuesday begins with the walk to breakfast a little before 7 a.m. PERT staff help students cross the street and can give you an extra nudge to get up this early. From the cafeteria, PERT students walk to the career lab in the training building. Students are picked up from the career lab by their evaluator. The evaluation area has 27 different hands-on job areas for PERT students to investigate, and you get to explore one area at a time, things like automotive bodywork, masonry, or other exciting fields. After evaluation is over, you meet with your counselor and play work-related games. When the game is over, the counselor walks you back to Switzer. You have about an hour free time before you go to dinner and start the second part of your day. In your free time, you can play pool, video games, watch TV, or use the student computers. For students used to less activity at home, this schedule can be very busy. After dinner, you go with your independent living teacher to an assessment area. The PERT program assesses dormitory and laundry skills, kitchen and medication safety, money management and shopping, and problem-solving self-esteem. After independent living, students can try another recreation activity. Later in the program, students will also take trips off campus with staff. Usually, six weeks after the program is completed, there is a meeting at the student school or DARS office. The local transition team, the student and their parents, discuss the PERT report. The student gets to share what they learned, what they liked, and what they disliked. The information is used to plan transition goals for the remaining years in high school and for post-graduation. PERT increases your chances of finding and keeping a job that matches your strengths and abilities. We look forward to seeing you at PERT.